All right, all right. What up, people? It's your favorite man in gray, trying to keep the, the little piggies away. All right. The bad wolf. Let's get going. All right. So this particular video is going to be about the constitutional lawyer. So most people out there know how I feel about the oath-taking lawyers. However, they're not all bad people, first of all. And secondly, you have to understand that they took an oath to protect the bar. Now, what we're talking about today is the constitutional lawyer, the people who protect your constitutional rights. If you do not know how to go into federal district court or any of the above courts where your rights and freedoms are protected in Article Three courts versus your Article One courts, which are all private for-profit, um, commercial, typically what contract and some trust laws inside the corporation, which makes what they do legal down there, Article I courts, versus the upper ones, okay? So if you do not know how to go to the upper ones on your own, sui juris, okay? And which you can do by getting or learning the federal rules of civil procedure, which will be coming to you guys soon. Then you're going to need a constitutional lawyer. A lot of people just go, oh, well, no lawyer wants to touch my case because you're talking to the wrong lawyers. You're talking to a guild where typically, if you haven't watched my video on YouTube, the 12 presumptions of law, I highly suggest you do that. Now, if this is your first time here, make sure you hit that bell, like, subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you see anybody using any of my materials, logos, likenesses, or information, or calling me or anybody like you, the old S word, sovereign citizens, because there's no such thing. It's an oxymoron, okay? But instead, what we are is national of the United States, American nationals, state citizens, non-citizen U.S. nationals, okay? even though they're changing and have changed the definition now as of uh, 2022, almost 2023, on e uh, Cornell Law EDU, we're still nationals, okay? So they encompass the word, well, you know what? Just go watch that video. We won't get into that in, in now. But, okay. So constitutional law lawyers, how do you find one? Well, one, Right now, I'm looking at lawinfo.com, okay? So if you go to home, you click attorney directory, then you click on constitutional law, which is different than the law below. That's why so many of you guys fail in court. It's because you're trying to use constitutional law and case law from the Supreme Court in a non-constitutional court. It won't work. They can ignore it. That'd be like you trying to quote something from Pepsi in my house. Well, according to Pepsi paragraph section two, you don't have, you got no power here. No power here. Okay? Okay. So, or you can just Google constitutional lawyer or constitutional law lawyer. Okay? Either way, this is where we're at. So we're in the Midwest. So the closest one here to me Oh, they've got a cities here. Okay, hold on. Let me just check this out and see. Well, hot spam. Okay. I didn't even know this. This is fire. All right. So let me back up here. Wish I would have known this about a year ago. All right. So I'm just going to click Chicago. Shy town Okay. So it says top Chicago, Illinois constitutional law lawyers near you, okay? So right here, constitutional lawyers, uh, Milan and Peskin, attorneys at law. So they deal with constitutional cases, free consultations on their from their uh, website, okay? They're not sponsoring me, so I'm not going to give you all of that. You can find your own, but need help with constitutional law in Illinois? Well, you got Lisa Kane and Associates. Okay, this is fire information here, guys. 
So there's a whole list of them. Now, when you go into the lawyer's office and you start talking about certain things, the reason why you're not having any luck is because you're not getting the right type of lawyer or the right type of law firm who can help you on a constitutional level. Okay? Some of these people are uh, also can be referred to as um, federal district court lawyers. Okay, and you can find them out that way. But right here, I got a whole list of constitutional law lawyers. These are the ones who can help you if your constitutional rights have been violated. Okay, so were your constitutional law rights violated? Constitutional law is a very broad and complex area of law that is often evolving. Constitutional law attorneys defend the rights of the citizen based on the U.S. Constitution and its interpretations. If your constitutional rights were violated, you will need a skilled constitutional law attorney. Types of constitutional law violations. Under the U.S. Constitution and its amendments were awarded certain rights such as protection against unreasonable search and seizure, right to a speedy trial, right to confront witnesses in a criminal case. There are also the freedoms of religion, freedom of speech, freedom of press, and much more, like your freedom of right to travel. It is best to contact the lawyer in your area who practices constitutional law and should you have any legal questions. really should be lawful questions. Best time to seek a, uh, a law for seek help is as soon as possible after something has occurred. Okay. How much would it cost to hire an attorney? In general, how much an attorney costs often will depend on these four factors. Billing method, pricing structure, type of legal work performed, um, the law form and, and its prestige, and the, that particular person's experience. So you are not going to get a public pretender, I mean public defender, who's going to do this for you because this that, that is a benefit and a privilege of a 14th Amendment U.S. citizen. You might be able to find some who might do something pro bono, but good luck with that. Okay, so the type of legal work you need to, you need help with will also play a role as a, or a pivotal part in the cost that's incurred. Okay, so if you don't know this by now, the plaintiff is a person or party who's bringing the lawsuit against another. So nine times out of ten, you are going to be the plaintiff. Think of the plaintiff as the complainer. Okay. Private persons or parties can only file suit in civil court, okay? Judgment, a decision of court, also known as a decree or order, judgments handed down by the court are usually binding on the parties before the court. All right, so not a terribly, haha, -ha. now this is interesting. So the Law Info Group, the site, is sponsored by Thomas or Thomson Reuters. Okay. Let me just check something here, okay? So, yes, I was right. Ha! Just to show you how well the system is played, guys, and how well it's connected, your Black Laws Dictionary, which we know which jurisdiction it hails from, the bar, <coughs> Britain, <coughs> etc. <cetera. coughs> Excuse me. Um, though it's made by Brian A. Garner, editor in chief. What's his logo at the bottom? Thomas Reuters. <laughs> well done, good sir. Well done. Well done. So, but the facts remain. If you have a problem, you've been pulled over, your property's been towed, you put out your affidavits of status, they refused it, they overstepped, they didn't want to, um, uh, 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 they acknowledge your foreign national status, your rights have been violated. You're going to need a constitutional law lawyer, constitutional attorney. Now we've just 
showing you the connections that they have across the board, the spider web. Okay. And we've shown you now how to find one and work something out. Once again, a, an individual in uh, Florida was doing right to travel. His rights were violated. He sued in federal district court and he won a couple of hundred thousand dollars because of the scenarios involved in his. Your results will vary. But if you are involved in a traffic scenario, I highly suggest you, or whatever, whatever scenario it is, if it was your rights that were violated, got to go take it to the right place, contact the right people. If any constitutional lawyer out there is seeing this video and wants to come on my show and speak about any information, um, I would be glad to have you. So let me know. We'll put you on the map. All right. Maybe a little free advertising or whatever else. Otherwise, that is it, guys. I want to thank you for watching this particular clip and video. Um, do not contact me directly in concerns to anything more than how to find one because I am not one. And so um, that is about it. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for your time and information. And we'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Bad Wolf's got more work to do. Go do something fun. Okay, bye. Still here? All right. Well, if you're still here, go check out blacksite32.com. You can check out consultations. You can check out um, discounts, benefits, information on how to get your own CBD website for free, uh, drop shipping. Your uh, You can get your own T-shirt uh, company over there for free. Um, lots of benefits, things you can get paid for, things I get paid for and whatever else. So go check it out. Otherwise, you can catch me also on the Bad Wolf Media channel, which is also on YouTube. I'm also on Patreon, though I don't have any videos up. And that's it. Go have fun. And remember, if whatever you're doing isn't making you money, you're making somebody else money. So holler at your boy for some business advice and tips on how to get started for either free or low. Check out Blackside32. Go check out the offers there. I'll talk to you guys later.